Okay. Is 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 there a way of measuring the intensity of what can be your embellishment of how far that you are willing to go to succeed in that victorious failure upon that of what is a failure? It's the opportunity of being able to graciously come upon, come upon that of um, idea of what is preferable and what isn't preferable as of how to do what is preferable to what isn't preferable. Um, so really, do you fail when you fail or do you just succeed? I, I honestly would say you succeed because, well, you learn something. You get to improve, add, expand, and express yourself um, in the most preferable way of you being the best that you can be, which is truthfully all that you ever can do in any moment, at least to the point of being able to be. <laughs> um, but what, what can is can you be the best that you can be? Is is there like a limit, or is there not a limit? Um, some would say there is, and some would say there's not. It's isn't it all up to you and your perspective of being who you be the best that you can be? Because there, there's not like you get a manual that says, well, this is how you should be and do it. You don't. You don't get a manual. Um, in all actuality, you get a blank piece of paper um, or notebook or tree or forest, whatnot, um, and you get a pen or a pencil or an oil reserve, basically, um, to write that autobiography um, because you're the one that's writing that manual. You're the one that's in control of your life. Um, you can be a leader in the sense of your follower because you're choosing to lead your life by following what may be preferable that of you being the best that you can be at you being in that moment of you being, which is preferable. So, how far are you willing to take yourself to be a leader? To know what's right for you and to say that's what is right for you. It all goes round and round. It truly is only a circle. A spiraling circle that layered upon top of layer which is more like a spring because <laughs> that's kind of what it comes down to um what being that you're the one that's writing that autobiography you're the one that's in control you're the one that says yes or no to it it might seem that you have to follow this and you have to follow that well if you believe which is part of how things come into being, manifestation, um, desire and understanding and all that. But you believe that you have to do it in this order that, um, like, you have to get a license. Well, you don't really have to get a license to drive. That car doesn't register that you don't have a license or you do have a license. It's you that says, oh, I don't feel comfortable driving because I don't have a license. It all comes back to you. You're in control of your life. Now, I, it's understandable being able to make sure you have this adequate skill basis of being knowledgeable enough to what is that of being wise of how to drive. That's all that really comes down to. It's, But... If you think about it, how funny it is that all the cars don't drive themselves or that everybody doesn't have GPS on their window screens and um, you can see 
all the miles per hour, all the signs coming up and whatnot. And you know what that would do in all truthfulness? It would, um, yes, it would equalize everybody, um, but you would eliminate road rage. Um, by eliminating road rage, I mean it, you would have the... You still could be late to work, basically, because, um, well, you're living your life and da-da-da-da-da-da. Um, but it happens. It, it can happen. You know, anything's possible. Um, but so you're late to you're going to be late to work or whatnot. So you are rushing. Everybody else knows because everybody else has a GPS, basically, um, that says, hey, this person has to get to work. So what that would do, basically, is you're able to go whatever amount of miles per hour because everybody else knows what's going on. So being that you're able to go 80 miles per hour down the main road, not the highway or whatnot, um, that everybody's going to move so that you can just pass on by. And what would happen then? You wouldn't be late. So really, you would be less stressed out. <laughs> kind of thing, or you would know, hey, this road's flooded, or whatnot, 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 kind of thing, um, it would, like, it just, it brings me back to the whole, like, silliness, um, funniness, and the hilarity, hilarity of what it is to, to claim, to say it's mine, and nobody else's, basically to follow the monetary system to a T the mind system, the greedy system. Yes, it can be other attributes and all that lessons and it's valuable and all that goodness. You can take it from both views because once you create that um, one, you create the other. So when you say it's good, it's bad. You can go vice versa and sway back and forth. It's usually preferable to say it's good instead of saying it's bad. I mean, there are the moments where it says it's better to have it to be bad than good um because it's more preferable lessons viewpoints perceptions um and how the interacting of all that intertwiningness of being but if you didn't claim and say it's mine and you shared it equally everybody would have the same opportunities and same potential not that they don't but they don't because if you have a lot of money or monetariness or whatnot, um, trading substance, basically, <laughs> um, you're able to buy that high-class car that has that GPS. Not that it does all what I've, what I've displayed what a GPS could really be used for, but or the deepening of what a GPS is. Nevertheless, it still is more equal with what I said than having all that money you know um, it like I guess my main point of me speaking about this is I was gonna talk about how a building can be and then it basically holds the space for what is to be a teleporter but you don't teleport anywhere because a teleporter really is what it really breaks down to is a vehicle or something that transports you so you walking you just teleport it um, it's like pick up something um, and you hold in your right hand and then you switch it over to your left you just teleported something um, it's it's not the same thing, but it's the same concept. It's the same idea. It's the same um, expression and energy. But it's not the same thing because everything's built upon still pictures. But there's so many of them, that it's just so solidified that it's motionless motion, basically. It's flow upon flow. Um, but... Being that, it's that you, that being that of um, not claiming it as yours, 
you would a, be able to um, benefit everybody. <sighs> By what I mean, oh, that's actually what I was talking about. <laughs> um, but that building, basically, since it is able to teleport without teleporting, basically, because everything's possible, but it basically it would it, and working with dimensions and whatnot basically it would take the dimension that it is not at and replace it and combined be the doorway whatnot to the dimension the area where it is at so that building would be able to hold the space and the skills of what the gifts that is basically flowable, um, not stifling, giving the opportunity to do what you please, where you please it, when you please it, without having any boundaries to bind you to the limitations of what sh shall not be limited. Um, <laughs> that, oh wow, that that building, being that it's able to do that, um, take for instance that you have the sunshine and that tree, but since you have it by your house and the, and the house basically is on the side of all these other trees or a mountain or something, that plant form life would not grow. It would not prosper and be... It would not live. It would be surviving, which it's always more preferable to live than su to survive. But being that now it's able to, that building is able to take upon that, um, that whole um, dimensional transporter ideal skillfulness that that plant life form is able to grow and be living and not have to survive. Not even have to make that choice, but it still has a choice to survive if it chooses. But when you live, do you really choose to survive? Usually when you survive, you you choose to grasp and hold on to that of life. But, okay, so that means that building would be able to also, that bird would be able to fly through it. That animal, that person, whatnot, whatnot, whatnot. So, that means that the really cool part about it, 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 that the really cool part would be that you would be able to see that bird flying through it, that tree growing right there kind of a thing. Because it also works with uh, virtuality. So you have dimensionalism and virtuality coming into... Um, one intermingled kind of thing because well really if it's virtual it it seems real so it is real it because it is real it's like the same thing as their dreams it don't they seem so real because they are real because um, your energy you're always moving and moving moving you never stop your body needs to rest because the soul is like a battery basically but it never ends it keeps on going um, so it also um, To be able to be able to it, replicators basically is what I'm saying um, would be nice to be able to um, ha have them. I mean, I'm not saying that they don't exist and that we don't have them. Um, just like free energy, it exists, but the powers at bay, and I mean at bay because they're not there anymore that it, they set the system up to where you have to survive. You can't choose to live. Only if you were given the gifts and the skillfulness of being able to obtain that monetary money, um, which means either you were one of the lucky ones, one of the blessed ones, or one of the blissful ones of being able to obtain such, or you 
are one of the ones that are working within that system, that are keeping that system afloat, <laughs> basically. Um, so one of the brains. But given that there is that free energy and that replicators and all that exists, um, you would be able to have that kind of a building, basically. Um, so that's where all the cities and all human existence would be. Um, it would also be beneficial to have a door. This door is assigned to you, basically. It's how you, it's your doorway to another dimension or the area of your choosing. Um, being that it's parallel or that of the same dimension, just in a different space. Um, but that door would be able to lead you to where you needed to go. So you were able to go mountain climbing or this or this or this. So you wouldn't be stifled like, oh, I need to carry a bunch of stuff. No, you don't. You just have to have that door, basically, and it would follow you or whatnot. Um, as like in your pocket or something like that, or you would have on your wrist where your replicator would be, or your replicator could be a ring or your hair tie or whatnot, whatever you feel like having it be at that moment, because it can replicate itself into anything, basically. Um, and so you would be able to do whatnot and um, travel and then still be able to go back home and rest and whatnot and then go back out there. So basically, um, that replicator would, once we get replicators, um, or once replicators are more commonly known and everybody has them as an equal opportunity kind of thing, or equal basis um, of building the, the, um, the integrating the fifth dimensional higher energies concept of living, um, that all you would do is unreplicate everything, everything that's ever man-made. Boom. Done. Um, so basically, you also don't need animals like you do, because it not to say that veganism is better than eating meat, because everything has their attributes and skills and lessons, and all everything's good. Nothing's really bad, because um, the universe basically is 51% good and 49% bad. Um, so everything's really good. Um, but, well, regardless, everything comes from neutrality, so it is until you label it. So it, it just is. But you would go about and unreplicate everything. So you would have everything. You would have everything that you ever wanted from that replicator. Um, Let's say, okay, let's say we have them. Okay, you want a new headphone. You want headphones, so you replicate them. But it broke. That's okay because you unreplicate them and then you replicate them again. It's, you never have to worry about that kind of stuff. So no more ever needing to use an unnecessary resource. But is there an unnecessary resource within that replicator? No, it's not really. But, um, so you would have that replicator, your doorway, and what then? Well, that building would, um, you would be able to have rooms like hotels or whatnot, apartments, where you can have like your family, your friends, or that kind of area, so that you can have your friend area or your family area, so that you can have like get togethers and with your families. And it's in a room, but it's also a doorway that it has your doorway that um, you can have one door, one room, basically, because it would all go to your own room, because whatnot, because um, the different dimensionals, when they're, the, they are not there to when you're there, kind of thing. Even though it's the same room, <laughs> it's your own room and they're not there. It's your own separate room. Um, but it would also go to your, like, your most desired place to live. Like, you want to live in a mountain, so it would, your your home home would be a mountain, and you would live in it, and then da-da-da-da-da. Or you would have a house, and you would have a field, and you would have a couple of trees, and 
in the middle of those trees, you would be able to go in and go on the bottom, and the bottom would just be all open, and you'd be able to do whatever. It'd be an extra room or another level, basically, to your house, and your house would be two stories or be in that both areas. And then you can have also, since that room does replicate you or transfer you anywhere because of the door, um, your walls can do the same thing. So you could have an area where it's like desert and then snow and then water and da da da. So all you have to do is keep going and then you get transferred to the ocean or to the mountains or the snow or whatnot. Now, don't the animals that are there aren't going to hurt you because they're there. It's it's basically a virtual hologram and you're living in it in it. So basically, you are growing and experiencing, but it's real kind of thing. And you're not you're allowing the animals and all the um, the kingdoms of Earth to grow and prosper and have equal opportunity of being there, being able to not be stifled, be able to go with the flow, just like that tree was able to grow because of it was able to get the light because the building being there, it wasn't there. Because it was able to pass through it. Um, oh my goodness, I think I'm like my voice. Can you hear? Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, but it just it really is silly to claim something. And going back to the whole the whole mind kind of thing. Well, why is it that way? Like I I I know I've said this on a video and to other people, but it's silly when I I have this idea. Um, going back to the digital you person, where it's very capable of happening right now, where it's very common knowledge of the the programming and the the um, everything that could go into that digital person, the ingredients um, for that, it would basically be possible. Um, but because I didn't have the monetary money to be able to jump in there and say this, this, and this, and this. And be able to and pay somebody else to do it. It didn't get gone through. Even though it would prosper, it would assist everybody, every single person to have them be equal. Basically, one of the attributes would be you would never ever have to buy that same game again or that same DVD again, or you would have you'd be able to watch on any computer, any device, anything that had an interface of being able to view it. Basically. But because I didn't have that monetary money, it didn't go through. But there's somebody that has that capability of building it and integrating it and doing it. But you know what I would have done? I would I don't it's not about the money for me. It's not about the money for me. It's about being equal and having everybody have the same opportunities. Because you don't have the same opportunities when you don't have the monetary money. But it would be like a penny or it would be like you would be able to pay me in pennies, like it would be, let's say, a hundred dollars. You don't have that money? Okay, you can have it for free, or you can have it reduced, or you can pay me in a dollar every month until you get to the hundred dollars or whatever. You know, yes, I that doesn't all add up or whatnot, but that doesn't matter. It would still be equal for everybody. You know, it doesn't matter about the money. It matters about being equal. Now there are people that are saying, well, what about the whole economy when it's based off of not being equal when you need to eat and you can't eat? That's not fun. It's not something that anybody should ever go through. You should be able to eat, especially when we have the capability of growing our food inside to grow year-round and not have it be drugged or and be bug-free. So, you know... But, it's just, I know I might have jumped, and I know I've said a lot, and this video is probably like 20 minutes, but I don't know. But I'm glad I got this on my ch off, out into the open, and whatnot. But just believe and understand that anything's possible. Because once you understand something, you see it in a different light. So there is that means that there's another layer that you just opened. The next page just got flipped in that book. What doesn't why wouldn't you think that there's more past that? I mean, yes, it does come down to your viewpoint and your, and your perception and why you're here and what role you're playing as to 
give forth that balance of creating that good and that bad um, from that neutral substance, basically. <sighs> be light, be love, understanding, accepting, forgiving, courageous, open-minded, heart, centered, centered, balanced, going with the flow, noble, generous, gratitude, humbleism, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Ariel, Virginia, Salusa, Mother, Father, Essence, and Gaia, and Higher Selves. May everything be in alignment for you. For you it is going to come. Beloved, be peace. And just think for yourselves. Be that leader that leads, not the leader that follows.